Hey there, crusty crew. Today I want to tell you about my essentials for street photography. I will not be talking about gear, but more or less the accessories that I need to bring with me every time I go out for a photo walk. Also, we're going to be doing it while you help me clean my apartment because it's the end of the week, I've been very lazy, and this place is a disaster. Piece number one is a fit, like a nice outfit. Whenever I'm feeling like I really want to go out and take some pictures, I try to put together an outfit that makes me feel comfortable and confident. I know a saying like look good, feel good doesn't really have a place nowadays, but like it's kind of true, at least in my case, where I feel more confident, I am willing to take more risks if I have an outfit that makes me feel confident and also dress for the weather. It's hard to be creative if you're too cold and you keep dipping into cafes to warm up. So I guess essential number one is a good outfit. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but something that makes you feel comfortable and also also, doesn't make you look creepy. If your favorite outfit is a trench coat, a hoodie, and sunglasses, and a ball cap, then you are not a street photographer, you are the Unabomber. <music> Item number two is a wristwatch. If you know anything about me personally, and I know most of you don't, is I love watches, I collect watches. Ouch, I stepped on a Kleenex box. Um, today I have on just my Seiko 5. It's one of my favorite watches. I bought it for myself as a graduation gift. And what a wristwatch allows me to do is uh, check the time without pulling out my phone. I'm a person who is very easily distracted. So if I pull out my phone to check the time, I am most definitely going to begin uh, what I guess is now known as a doom scroll and that's not productive for my uh, creativity. So essential number two is an analog wristwatch. It doesn't have to be a Rolex, it can be a G-Shock. I got a few of them. This is a quick rundown of my watch collection. I have Seiko 5, a vintage Seiko tank, this neon yellow G-Shock, and an old Casio, and that's it. Nothing crazy, but all analog and all prevent me from being distracted by my phone. Item number three, a good bag. And I actually don't know where mine is. This is a tote bag that I got, I think, just off Amazon. It was probably $7. It's sturdy enough to put a single camera in, but I wouldn't do much more equipment than that. This is nice if I'm doing a day to go to like flea markets. I can put my things in the tote bag, and but also I have a place to put my camera if I want it not hanging off my side. My favorite bag currently, and I do not know if it has a special name, but I've really been into the Japanese brand Porter. So I have this Porter sling, I guess. It's like a roll top sling. And it's really easy to have, there's lot, lots of room. I can fit my camera, an additional lens, and pretty much anything else I need, water bottle or whatever. But yeah, it works really well. It's not a dedicated camera bag or anything like that, but it, it, does, it does the job because my setup's technically pretty compact for what it is. So yeah, get yourself a good bag. Item number three, a good bag. Once again, it doesn't have to be crazy. It can be a $7 tote bag, but if you trust it, I trust it. I have so much stuff. When did I get all this stuff? Uh, item number four? Yeah, item number four. It's just extra batteries, extra batteries. Um, I always carry a portable battery to keep my phone alive, and I always carry at least one to two batteries for my camera. My a7 III it has really, really good battery life for just leaving it on while doing street photography, but if I'm shooting any kind of video, I usually have two. If it's just a normal day, maybe I'll bring one, just throw it in my bag or whatever. So yeah, extra batteries. Item number five is not technically for street photography, but I do like to carry noise canceling headphones with me, whether it's like over ears, like these Sony headphones, or if it's like my AirPod Pros. And I don't listen to music while I take photos. I don't keep earphones in because I like to be aware of everything that's going on around me, especially if people want to talk to me like, hey, what are you doing? Why'd you take my picture? You know, do you have Instagram? It's, it's nice to just be open to that kind of interaction and not have to like, oh, you know, sorry, what'd you say? But one of the things I find myself often doing is getting a little bit burnt out halfway through a shoot. So if I'm walking through Tokyo or whatever on a street photography day and I need to stop in somewhere for lunch, it's nice just to unplug my brain for a bit and just shut everything 
everything out. It allows me to kind of creatively recharge to be in a quiet place before I continue the shoot. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of like a cool down period before, like it's, it's, it's like a midday intermission. So I use noise canceling headphones for like a midday intermission. Man, I hope that made sense. I don't know how else to explain it. All, all of these clothes, I'm not cleaning up. That's, that's um, those are being donated. Number six is snacks. Um, I, I like to go out shooting for long periods of time. So I like to keep, you know, a small bottle of something to drink in my bag along with, I don't know, like, I have like a donut. It just stops me from having to stop somewhere. And then once again, if I have things that I'll need with me and I can prevent myself from having to make a stop, it will definitely benefit the creative mindset overall. I bought some cut, some cut proof, cut proof gloves. I'm doing some urban exploration tomorrow. I might make a video out of it. I might not. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the legality of it is, but yeah, you might, you might see that. If not, just check my Instagram. I'll post pictures. Number seven is kind of dressing for the weather. Um, especially in the season we are in right now, I always like to keep, you know, a pair of gloves, like a nice hat with me just in case it gets chilly. I don't mind shooting outside when it's cold, but I do like to be prepared. Once again, preventing myself from making unnecessary stops. Number seven is like accessories you'll need for weather changes. Don't doomsday pack a bunch of rain stuff, but like, you know, if it gets a little bit chilly, it's nice to have a, a light set of gloves or a beanie or toque or something. And that's kind of all I got for you. Just a couple things to keep in mind that help me when I'm out shooting. Have all the essentials with you so you don't have to stop as often. Oh, she's out of tune. And this is also like very small things. You don't have to go out there with a hiking backpack full of everything you need to survive the apocalypse, but just a couple essentials to stop yourself from having to stop at like a convenience store or something. It, uh, it interrupts the flow of the work and the longer you can be out there shooting, the more chances you'll have to capture some truly uh, amazing moments. So I hope you enjoyed. I have to go to Tokyo to do a shoot. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to talk about it, but if you follow me on Instagram, you should be able to see everything that I'm up to. Thank you for helping me clean my apartment. I'm going to go eat this donut and get on a train, and I will see you guys in the next one.